The Houston Rockets are interesting. And before we start today's video, I'd like to hear down below. What do you think is going to happen with the Houston Rockets? James Harden, probably going to get traded. But what about the rest of the roster? Let's talk about it. I'm making this video right as the game ended. Christian Wood impresses, dropping 23 points. And, you know, in his second game, after scoring 31, he continues to seem like a really good signing. Christian Wood looks like every penny. David no Nawaba, is that I said, or is it? I think I said that correctly. Continues the show being a really good defender. Uh, I think he should be more of a second unit guy, in my opinion. And James Harden, you know, chubby James Harden, out of shape James Harden says, hey, I don't need to be in shape. I don't need to be at practice. I don't need to be around this team, the ball. But hey, I'm not going to be around because I don't want to be on the team and they're going to lose because James Harden isn't playing winning basketball. Yeah, you're dropping 34, but I don't think your team is around you is having really good chemistry. I want to hear your comments about that down below, guys. Next up, I think this team as a whole isn't meshing. Isn't meshing. I know John Wall didn't play. Eric Gordon didn't play. DeMarcus Cousins didn't play. Chris Clemens didn't play. Ben McLemore, McClaymore. I don't even know how it's pronounced. I think it's McLemore. But I've heard someone say McClaymore. So there's that. So yeah. Look. Christian Wood, David Nawaba. I want to hear my dog just rip the loudest part. But David Nawaba, Christian Wood, James Harden, and Sterling Brown were the only guys who had double digit score scoring. Literally, besides that, was PJ Tucker is the second scorer on this team or leading scorer for this team. So that's not good. That's not good news bears. That's not what you want. I feel bad for the team because they're a better team than this shows, you know? Like, this makes this team look not that great. And I feel bad because they are a better team than this they're showing. I just feel like this is – I feel bad for Steven Siles because Steven Siles shouldn't really have to deal with this. He's here – to coach winning games and i feel like this has all come down to james harden i think james harden has made like look james harden we get it that you don't want to be here but this team even without you if they could have traded you already which they should have i mean uh, without a doubt they should have traded him a minute ago but i'm gonna be honest you know he they want to make it work but give it up guys he's a, he's a cult like he's killing the culture He's killing the team. He's killing chemistry. And I think the best thing to do right now is to cut your losses. And before his, like his trade value is fine. And I know you're trying to be patient, but before your season gets wasted, go get a guy who can help you because, like, James Harden is a cancer, th is a cancer machine for this team right now. I just want to say that because, like, I feel like he is. I feel like he, that is. I'm like, typing something so sorry for that but yeah no i think he's better than you think and not better you think he's worse than you think and he's just killing the culture in this team and this is a guy they need to get rid of i really do believe that james harden needs to be getting rid of and that's really it i think they're a mess they're a mess this team is really is a mess because look bruno Cabocolo, Jay Sean Tate, Sterling Brown, Daniel House, David Nwaba, Christian Wood, Ben McClaymore, Eric Gordon, Demarcus Cousins, John Wall, Chris Clemens is a good team. Okay. This is an eighth seed in the NBA playoffs. This is a team that can do stuff. I firmly believe it. And right now, James Harden, yeah. Hey, James, thank you. Thank you that you just dropped. Okay, 34 points, 6 rebounds, and 8 assists. Cool, man. Cool. Look, your team needed you to drop another 17 assists, 15 assists. Okay? And it seems like every game he just tells himself, like, I'm going to just ball out scoring-wise. Like, last game he balled out assist-wise, it seemed like, maybe to make that first game, hoping that he only had to play one game, they would trade him. So, I know, I don't know, I just feel like it's just like, hey, I'm not, like, 
I don't know. I just feel like this is dumb because James Harden is having a great start to the season, but they need John Wall to play. I don't know, man. I just this is this this is what I'm gonna tell you. I think Daniel House isn't playing good, but he's a good player. Christian Wood has some work to do defensively. He just generally needs to be more aggressive. Houston really needs John Wall on both ends of the floor. And James Harden is having a great start to the season, even though he looks out of shape. Uh, and Bruno Caboclo is playing terrible. Like, Bruno Caboclo, awful. Like, comically bad. Then you got Sterling Brown. Who the hell is Sterling Brown before this game? I'm surprised they didn't call up Mason Jones or KJ Martin Jr. or Brodrick Thompson. Where did Brodrick Thompson come from? Brodrick Thompson came out of Truman State. Truman State has to be like D3. D3, by the way. They're not even a, a dot .edu, bro. They're a dot .com website. I'm just kidding. It's like their, their athletic website. So you obviously be... I do want to see if Truman is bro, we're finding out division two bro even lower than, than division three you played division two basketball and you made the team good for him good for him must have been balling but yeah james harden's a cancer for this team they should trade him in my opinion i wouldn't want him there i don't think anyone would want him there i i i really think they should get rid of him ASAP Rocky, like A to the D to the G. Makes no sense what I just said there, but they should just get him, rid of him. I don't like him at this point. I used to really like James Harden, but hey, you want to see the ugly truth about James Harden? I made a video on it. You guys can go check that out. It would mean a lot. But yeah, I made it to the end of the video. If you guys ever make it to this part of my video, it's really just me rambling for the end of it because YouTube loves when you make videos longer than eight minutes so you make more ad revenue so hey if you're trying to support the channel you can do that by how if you're wondering by watching to the end of the video right here that's really it and you'll be supporting the channel because that way you can help me with ad revenue hit that like and subscribe button if you want to help the youtube algorithm pump say like promote my videos because if you know we'll get more views that way but yeah that's it that's me i'm pretty bored i'm gonna head out i hope you guys do have a great day because i know i will till next time guys puppies out